On one of our earlier U.S.-Pakistan interreligious consortium trips, a student that we met took an internship with Intersections because she was so infatuated with the work that we were doing at uh, UPIC. And during the course of that internship, she established a relationship with an organization in New York City called Kids Spirit, which produces an online and in-print magazine done by and for middle school-aged children. They have editorial boards around the U.S. and one in India. And Shanze said, we could do one of those in Pakistan. Kids Spirit is a community in an international community that focuses on fostering interfaith dialogue, harmony, and tolerance. We're giving young children the opportunity to openly voice expression. Many girls today mistreat their bodies, developing an unhealthy relationship with the basic activities that our body needs to survive, eating, exercising, and waste removal. The use of laxatives, the development of eating disorders, and the woes of overexertion all originate from a desire to please others. We edit articles, we write on different themes that the kids in New York have discussed and formulated by themselves. They are published on forums such as the Huffington Post, the online Kid Spirit web page, a hard copy version, which is a compilation of the best work that has been produced over the years. My name is Nurjaha Asim, and I'm the founding member of the Lahore Editorial Board for Kid Spirit. And we started off with five members, and now we're expanding to taking poetry and artwork from children from all across our school. It is really important and part of UPIC's agenda to work with young people because more than 65% of the Pakistani population is under 35. And so as we work with these young people, we're really hopeful about the future as they experience life through a much broader lens than they would otherwise have been able to do without UPIC's presence. The editorial board in Pakistan specifically is giving the youth of this country at least even if it's a small capacity to voice themselves freely. We're trying to work towards changing the image that people have of us one step at a time.